Okay, so let's look at binomial expansion. So when we've got, um, so in this question, we can see that we have minus a half here. Now what that tells us is that n is not a natural number, it's not a counting number. So we have to use this formula over here. Now the problem is we have a four when we need the, it to be a one. So we need to take four to the minus a half outside. And we're left with one minus five over four x to the minus a half. And what we're going to now do is we know four to the minus a half is one over root four, so a half. And we're going till x squared, so we have our one. We treat, wherever we see an x, we're going to put minus 5 over 4x. And wherever there's an n, we put minus a half. So we end up getting 1 plus minus a half, which is your n, times your x, which is minus 5 over 4x, plus n, which is minus a half, n minus 1, which will give you minus 3 over 2, over 1 times 2, and then minus 5 over 4x all squared. And we want to go up to the x squared term. When we open all of that out, so we've got a half times 1, which is a half. And in your calculator, you can literally do a half times minus a half times minus 5 over 4, which is going to give you plus 5 over 16x. And then minus a half times minus 3 over 2. And the important thing is it's all of this squared over two and then times by a half as well. And you get 75 over 256 x squared. So that's the first bit. Um, and then now we're given two plus kx over, and we recognize that this is the same as all of this. Okay. And we've got to think about what happens. So essentially, f of x here is 2 plus kx, sorry, so 2 plus kx multiplied by 4 minus 5x, the minus a half. Because if we bring that up, it's going to be equivalent. So the one on the bottom is to the power of a half, but if we were to bring it up, it becomes minus a half. So we want to multiply this that we've got here by 2 plus kx. So we can start off by doing that. So we've got 2 plus kx multiplied by a half plus 5 over 16x plus 75 over 256x squared. And what we're trying to do is we get told that we have 1 is still 1, but the x term is 3 tenths. Okay, so how are we going to get an x term? The x term is going to come from that times that plus that times that. So if we compare our x terms, we've got 2 times 5 sixteenths, so 10 sixteenths, plus a half k equals 3 tenths. So therefore k is going to equal minus 13 over 20. So that's part B. And then part C asks you to find M, which is the X squared terms. So like, how do we get X squared? X squared is going to be X times X. So we need this one. And two, which is nothing, times that. So we end up with two times 75 over 256 plus 5 over 16 times your k, which was minus 13 over 20. And all together, stick that all in your calculator in one go. It gives you 49 over 128. So m equals 49 over 128. Don't be scared if you get weird numbers in the exam. It does happen. Hope that's 